Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw an ear. We begin by sketching a tilted line as a reference. Then I usually do the basic shape of the outline with straight lines. And then round the edges and the lines. <laughs> it is just easier to first do it with straight lines. Having made this basic shape with a pencil, we can then go over it with a fountain pen or with the pen that you will be using. I will first go over the lines of the helix, the outer part of the ear, like so. We can start shading with some hatching. We add the thickness of the helix and the lobule at the bottom. I like drawing ears because it has many different planes which are fun to make and to shade. The darkest spot should be the orifice toward the bottom. And let's do the shadow of the ear itself underneath. Depending on the lighting, there can also be a very dark area for the recess that is just above the middle. Ok, good. Now let's do the side view or the look of the ear if you were looking at the face from the front. We have the upper part, the middle and the bottom sticking out a little bit, leaving a shape similar to a number 3. Well, with some imagination. <laughs> let's go over it with pen so that it can be seen better. Ok, that's the silhouette and it is important to notice that a lot of the times the part in the middle sticks out. This part down here should be in shade because it goes inside and we should make sure to also give some shading to the helix so that it looks rounded. I'm using the Justos 95 fountain pen again and the list of materials including the ink is in the description below the video. Very good! Excelente! Let's slightly shade this to show that it is turning down. Of course, I'm using hatching and cross hatching, which is the best when you are using pen and ink. We give it the last touches and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.